Secondary School Activities Commission. Any rebroadcast, publication, or use of the accounts or description of this game without the express written consent of the Metro News Radio Network is prohibited. The announcers on this broadcast are employed by the Metro News Radio Network and the West Virginia SSAC. It's time to begin this final session of the 77th State Tournament, and to do that, we turn it over to Civic Center Public Address Announcer, Frank Blake. To begin our final evening of the tournament, we ask you to stand for the invocation to be given by Nitro High School student, Jana Beth Bonner. Please bow your heads. Unto thee, O God and Father, we lift our hearts in prayer. We come before you tonight asking that you be with each participant here, that fair play and sportsmanship be the rule rather than the exception, that the cup of victory be filled with gratitude and goodwill, and that the burden of defeat become a lesson in tolerance and striving for a better goal. We are always mindful of the many blessings we are privileged to enjoy in this country. The youth of some nations are just beginning to taste freedom and reform, and many have yet to achieve these precious gifts. Inspire the leaders of our world and our nation to continue to work together to attain world peace. Help our state and local leaders to maintain an environment in which we can continue our education and achieve productive lives. Remembering from whom all blessings come, may this our prayer be heard and accepted. Amen. For this AAA championship game, let's welcome the Martinsburg Bulldogs. Let's welcome the Beckley Flying Eagles. Introducing Martinsburg's head coach, Dave Rogers. And Beckley's head coach, Dave Barksdale. For Martinsburg, assistant coach Gary Shook. For Beckley, assistant coaches Butch Freeman and Bob Bolin. The support staff for Martinsburg, Robbie Springler, Jeff Carter, and Cooter Shook. Support staff for Beckley, Dave May, Click Bandy, Kevin Maupin, Steve Webb, Jesse Terry, Georgiana Grove, and Janelle McKinney. The Lions Club host for Martinsburg is Ken Waldeck. Lions Club host for Beckley is Rat Thumb. Now introducing the squads. For Martinsburg, number 13 is Troy Feltner. For Beckley, number 12, Brian Neighbors. For the Bulldogs, number 14, J.R. Fox. For the Flying Eagles, number 20, Daniel Oberdorf. From Martinsburg, number 20, David McKenzie. From Beckley, number 24, Ted Anderson. For the Bulldogs, number 23 is Eric Johnson. For the Flying Eagles, number 30 is John Anderson. From Martinsburg, number 25, James Domenico. From Beckley, number 40, Judd Rutledge. For the Bulldogs, 34, Jason Johnson. For the Flying Eagles, number 42, Dwayne Reed. And from Martinsburg, 35, Scott Lynch. And from Beckley, 50, Victor Davis. Now the starting lineups. For Martinsburg, a 6-1 junior, number 24, Freddie Ferguson. For Beckley, 6-2 senior, number 14, Brian Kidd. For the Bulldogs, at 6-2 was senior, number 22, Smokey Grantham. For the Flying Eagles, a 6-4 senior, number 34, Kevin English. From Martinsburg, 6-4, a senior, number 31, Anthony Dokes. From Beckley, 6-2 senior, number 32, Chris Daniels. For the Bulldogs, a six-foot senior, number 44, Spencer Ferguson. 
for the Flying Eagles, the 6'6", junior, number 44, Glenn Staples. And for Martinsburg, at 5'8", a senior, number 32, Marcellus Basie. For Beckley, 6'2", senior, number 22, Tink Brown. We ask you to stand now for the singing of our national anthem by Nitro High School student, Rebecca Robert. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Game time, the tip-off in one minute after we hear this message from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of West Central, West Virginia. Here's important news for employers who want to cut down the paperwork on group insurance and still give your employees the nation's number one health care coverage. It's no fuss, no forms coverage from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Parkersburg. And it means you'll never have to handle another long, complicated claim form. Call us about no fuss, no forms group coverage from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Parkersburg. 1-800-344-5514. When time is money, it can mean big savings. Bobcat basketball, often a national NAIA title contender, is part of a winning tradition at West Virginia Wesleyan College. At West Virginia Wesleyan, 17 varsity sports for men and women take their place beside business, engineering, and music and the arts in liberal education. It's a winning combination, and it creates one of the finest settings for learning in the eastern United States. Bobcat basketball at West Virginia Wesleyan College. The tradition continues. The 1990 West Virginia Class AAA Basketball Championship continues now from the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. Once again, here's Tony Caridi. We're all set to go. The Martinsburg Bulldogs wearing their black uniforms. Beckley in their white. Anthony Dokes will jump it off against Glenn Staples. Our referee tonight is George Pack. The umpire is Ron Christie. They both hail from the southern board. George Pack steps in between of two big centers. The ball's in the air. The tip is controlled by the Martinsburg Bulldogs in the backcourt. Marcellus Basie attacking from right to left. The diminutive point guard watched by Brian Kid inside feed goes to Smokey Grantham. He lays it up and in. First two of the night. Here's a steal on the pressure from Martinsburg. In the front court, Freddie Ferguson. Deep corner, Spencer. Now inside feed, Fred Ferguson off the glass. His shot won't fall. Rebound comes down to Chris Daniels of Beckley. Here come the Flying Eagles. A pass down the floor intended for Staples. Knocked out of bounds by Freddie Ferguson. And Beckley will inbound from underneath their own bucket. 29 seconds gone by. Martinsburg leads it 2 to nothing. Kevin English throws into Glenn Staples, deep right corner. He's watched there by Fred Ferguson, starts to the bucket, jump pass, back to English, baseline jumper is good, about six feet away. Kevin English, who had 29 points last night. Quickly, here comes Martinsburg, Anthony Dokes, 15-footer right side, bingo, all net. And he can hit that shot, good penetration, eyes up, here's the pressure by Martinsburg. Tink Brown, up to midcourt, looks for some help, goes over on the far side to Kevin English. English now looks at the double team, goes deep left corner. Daniels tries a three, too strong. Rebound, Staples, baseline shot off the side of the rim. Rebound knocked around. Freddie Ferguson has it taken away by Daniels. His shot won't go off the glass. Finally, 
Freddie Ferguson clears. Here comes Martinsburg. Ferguson, deep left corner to his brother Spencer. He fires a jumper, air ball, rebound underneath Grantham. Forces up the shot, and they're going to call him on an offensive foul. Boy, he didn't use his body real well. He had a great opportunity. He had a smaller man against him. Smokey Grantham is a real key in this game for Martinsburg. Outstanding player, but whether he can run the court against the Beckley pressure is something to be seen. Four to two. Martinsburg on top. The Bulldogs have not played particularly well early on in either of their two games here in the tournament. Kevin English on the far side. Into a double team. Has the ball stripped away by Basie. Here comes Marcellus behind the back over midcourt. Basie to the top of the circle. Driving. Firing up a shot off the glass. Good. What a beautiful shot by Basie. He was out of control. He was falling backwards and he scores it. 6-2 Bulldogs. Here comes Brian Kidd at midcourt. Double team. Looking to get some help. Goes back to English. Up ahead to Tink Brown. Got away with a travel. Far side hash mark. Brown, jump pass, left side, Daniels alone tries a three, no good, ball high off the backboard, tipped out of bounds by Spencer Ferguson, and Beckley will have possession. Brian Kidd is a real key for Beckley, Tony, because against that pressure, Brown will try to find him in the front court, in the front court with a foul on extended where he's wide open, he's had two cracks at it. Inbounds goes to Chris Daniels, deep left corner. Started tightly chest to chest by Spencer Ferguson. Nice entry pass inside to Staples. He shoots it off the glass and scores. First two for Glenn Staples. 6-4 ball game. Martinsburg with the ball in the lead. Entry pass inside to Grantham. Between his legs, stolen by Chris Daniels. His pass down the floor to Staples. He tracks it down deep left corner. Looks for some help. Goes up top to Tink Brown. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound. Grantham after it. Daniels comes away with it. Baseline shot is there for Chris Daniels. His first field goal. And we've got ourselves a tied ball game at 6-all. Five minutes and 25 seconds to play in this first period. Marcellus Basie out between the rings. Comes up high left of the circle with a pass to Dokes. Dokes now fires over far side to Spencer Ferguson to brother Freddie. Inside entry pass Grantham. His pass tried to come back up top with it. Firing underneath, he hit the back side of the backboard, and that's a turnover, the fourth against Martinsburg. Beckley in a man-to-man -man defense, and they are a great helping defense on the inside. They really help on the weak side. Here comes Tink Brown, guarded by Dokes into the deep right corner behind the back. Now he comes back up top with his dribble. Pulls up on it, one bounce into the corner to Staples. Staples, cross-court pass. Daniels will try a three on the way. No good. Rebound, Anthony Dokes. Beckley is not shooting as well as they did early last night. Here's Marcellus Basie down the other end. Tries a three, left side. No good, but after the a shot was released, a whistle and a foul call. Basie went down on the play after releasing, and Basie is foul with 4.47 left in this first period. The last two times down, Marcellus Basie has felt the contact once the shot has been released. He put that this first one in, the second one here, he was pushed and the foul was called. Contact made after the shot, Martinsburg inbounds. Grantham will try one, deep left side, no good. Spencer Ferguson underneath, follows it up, around and in. Very quick move on the inside by Spencer Ferguson. Great offensive rebound there. Martinsburg on top by two. Underneath all alone, Staples goes up and he is fouled on the play by Smokey Grantham. The shot does not fall, but Len Staples will step up to shoot two. Great pass that time by Tink Brown, and he has the ability, when he's double teamed, Tony, he has that size to look over his double team, and he can find his people because he's always facing, he knows where the other far, four people are in the court. Dave Rogers will make a substitution. Freddie Ferguson will go out. David McKenzie will come in. McKenzie played well last night over Wheeling Park. He had 11 points. Foul shot up by Staples is good. This is an early move. Probably made a mistake in the substitution. Probably yeah. was supposed to come in for Grantham. Yeah, he did. So Freddie Ferguson uh, did not even get a chance to sit down on the bench. He goes right over to the scorer's table. And now he comes back in and Smokey Grantham goes out with those two fouls. Second foul shot by Staples. Not there. Martinsburg with the ball leading 8-7. to seven. Here's marvelous Marcellus Basie up high. Driving to the bucket. Shot on the way. Good off the glass. He went right up against Glenn Staples at 6'6", six six, and Basie at 5'8", scores it. Off to a quick start, Marcellus Basie. Tink Brown comes over on a pass to Kevin English to the far side, back over to Tink. Brown now working, slicing, shooting. Too strong off the back iron, rebound Dokes. Here comes Martinsburg with a three-point lead. Freddie Ferguson 
Fires up top to Basie. Basie stutter steps in the paint. Pass to Dokes. Baseline jumper good. Boy, D Dokes has the ability. He knows when Marcellus penetrates, he gets himself open for that little baseline jumper. This is the best Martinsburg has played early in the tournament. They lead by five, 12-7. Brown, entry pass to Staples, baseline shot, no good off the side of the rim, rebound McKenzie. McKenzie gives back to Freddie Ferguson. Ferguson quickly up the floor, to the top of the circle, pulling up, 16 footer on the way, good! 14 to seven, Martinsburg is playing like Beckley did early last night. They're shooting and hitting. Up top, Ryan Kidd takes the ball high near midcourt. Passes over to Kevin English. English starts to the bucket. Scoop shot, contact made. We've got a foul call against the Bulldogs with 3.08 left. Early observation. Beckley is not very patient. Give Martinsburg credit for coming out in that pressure defense three-quarter court after the score because Beckley, once they break it, Tony, they're getting not taking real, real good shots against the pressure. We've got an official's timeout on the floor with 3.08 to play in this first quarter. Martinsburg leads Beckley 14-7. Exclusive Metro News coverage of the 1990 state tournament is being brought to you in part by One Valley Bank. My granddaughter's got her whole life ahead of her. And I really want her to have some of the advantages I never had. My husband and I felt the same way about her mother. So we always put away what we could for her future. I guess our granddaughter is that future. For everyone who's ever dreamed they could make a difference, now there's one bank that can help. One Valley Bank. The one bank for all of West Virginia. Member FDIC. Choose your destination. The University of Charleston has the distinction of being the first private university in West Virginia. Also, we can offer you a low student-teacher ratio, successful NAIA Division II athletics, and more than 40 academic majors. Look for UC's display at the high school basketball tournament and make plans to visit campus while you're in town. Call admissions at 357-4750 for more information. The University of Charleston. You can get there from here. Martinsburg has made seven of its first 11 shots. On the other side, Beckley has made just three of their first 11 shots. The Flying Eagles, 27% from the field as Glenn Staples inbounds underneath the Beckley bucket. Looks to get it in, looks to get it in, lobs it into English, back to Staples. Baseline shot is there. Another early key. Martinsburg out rebounding Beckley, 8-3 to three early. David McKenzie down the other end, has his shot slapped off the backboard by Staples. Coming up with it, it's English. That could be a turning point. Here's English driving, shooting from 14, good. Well, you don't want to warm him up. Last night, Staples had a great block off of it. An attempted dunk, and that got Beckley going. 14 to 11, Macy will try a three, no good. Rebound fought for, McKenzie can't hold on. Basie comes up with it, pass over left side. Ferguson on the way, jumper won't go. Rebound, Chris Daniels. Three-point ball game, Martinsburg leads it. Beckley has the ball. Daniels to Tink Brown. Brown down the baseline, 16-footer, no good. Rebound, McKenzie, outlet, Spencer Ferguson. Spencer will slow it down to a trot as the Bulldogs set their offense, leading by three. Bounce pass, deep right corner, Spencer Ferguson drives the baseline, has a hole, shot up, no good. Ball tipped out, Marcellus Basie chases it down, near side, quarter court. Deep corner, Freddie Ferguson, shot on the way, no good, rebound, Dokes shoots it, misses, Freddie Ferguson gets it back and he is fouled with exactly two minutes to play in this opening quarter. Freddie Ferguson will step up to shoot two. Real good job in the offensive boards that time by Martinsburg. And it's very evident early that Dokes can play with Beckley's big boys on the inside. Great leaping ability, has a knack for finding that basketball. Anthony Dokes is a talented player. Foul against Kevin English, his first. Foul shot on the way for Freddie Ferguson, no good. Freddie had 13 points last night in that victory over Wheeling Park. 14 to 11 is our score. The Bulldogs lead by three. Second shot by Freddie Ferguson. No good. Dokes after the tip-in. Spencer comes after it. Loose ball on the floor. Taken down by Kevin English. Here he comes flying down the floor. Driving. Shooting. Contact made. Foul call against the Bulldogs as Kevin English goes down hard. And coming up the court slowly, it's Glenn Staples. Jay, he was shaken up. Well, he was on the inside, a lot of contact. And I think he took an elbow right down to the side of the face and just, just knocked him to the floor and dazed him. Foul against Marcellus Basie is his first. Fourth team foul against the Bulldogs. 
Kevin English is having himself a tremendous tournament as he swishes the first foul shot. He had 28 in the first game, 29 last night over Logan. This gets into a foul shooting contest. Beckley, the much better foul shooting club. English's second shot is there, and we've got ourselves a one-point ball game, 14-13. Basie flies up the floor, tries a long three, good! Well, you saw him looking at the hoop right over the midcourt. That one came from just right of the circle. Marcellus Basie has seven points. Bulldogs pressuring. Chris Daniels for Beckley in a trap. Looks for help. We've got a whistle and a foul call against the Bulldogs. Boy, Tony and that double team, they had a great double team in there. Martinsburg did, and they had the other passing lanes covered. Only problem, you don't want to reach in. And that's exactly what happened. That's why the foul was called. A good call. Smokey Grantham will come back into the ball game. He'll replace Anthony Dokes, who's off to a good start. Boy, watch it right here. A four-point lead for Martinsburg, but Dokes out of the ball game. Grantham has to play in the middle there. We'll see what happens. Chris Daniels foul shot, no good. That was a front end of the one and one. Ball in play. Here comes Basie pulling up, shot off the glass, in and out, no good. Rebound, Staples. That last foul call was against Anthony Dokes. He has two, and so he goes to the bench. Here's Daniels trying to three, right side air ball, no good. Chased down by English. English starts to the bucket. He fires one up, it won't go. Miss is taken down. We've got a whistle underneath and a foul call against Beckley. Going after the missed shot of Kevin English. Len Staples was running after the ball and contact was made. They're gonna call the foul against English. Well, when you take a bad shot out there, you put your other people in bad rebounding position and more than not, you'll come up and get a foul against you. Basie on the dribble jog up the floor. Hash mark near side, works off a pick, jump pass into Grantham. Grantham in the paint, loses the ball, brings it back out. Now he sets up, spots up from 15, shoots no good, but he's fouled. Now Smokey Grantham and Marcellus Basie have been working a play all season long. Grantham comes up to the top of the circle, sets a pick, then rolls down the lane. Basie finds him. That time, Basie put the pass in there. Grantham couldn't hold on, moves himself back out of the paint, sets up, fires from 15, and he was hacked. They'll call it against Chris Daniels. That's his first, and Grantham steps up to the foul line for the first time tonight, shooting two. And what that little screen does, Tony, it draws both of the defensive men towards Basie, and that's how Grantham gets freed up right in the paint, and he's a good shooter from there. Grantham misses the first foul shot. Second one on the way, no good. The Bulldogs are 0 for 4 from the free throw line. There's your point right there, Jay. Yeah, it is. I think they just don't hit the foul shots they need to hit. Ooh. Down the other end, Tink Brown fires from 17 along the right baseline. That's the first two tonight for Tink Brown. Basie comes down the other end between the legs, driving, passing off to McKenzie. McKenzie left wing, Grantham. His shot, good! Just inside the three-point arch, Smokey Grantham scores it. 19-15, Martinsburg by four. 25 seconds and counting in this opening quarter. Brown, entry pass inside to Brian Kidd. Cross court, Kevin English. English down the lane, firing and scoring. Nice move that time as he beat Freddie Ferguson into the paint. Basie wastes no time. He's driving down the left side. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Spencer Ferguson. He throws it back up and won't fall. Out of the pack comes Tink Brown, and he is fouled on his way up the floor. That comes with just four seconds to play in our first period, and now we've got a technical foul call against Spencer Ferguson. Reacting to the foul call, official Ron Christie slaps him with a T. And that goes all the way back to the move by Ferguson maybe five, ten seconds ago when he made his move to the basket. He thought he was fouled, Tony, then he came back and created the foul, which led to the technical. Not a smart play. Tink Brown will go to the foul line. He'll have two technical foul shots coming up to be followed by a one-and-one. Boy, and how many times do you see that pick up a team where they get an opportunity like that to cash in off of technicals and get possession of the basketball? It's the momentum that sometimes teams need. Makes the first. Second one on the way there. Okay, now we've got ourselves a tied up ball game as a result of that technical. And now Brown will shoot the one and one. Martinsburg still does not have... Let me check myself. The one and one went first. Now the technical foul shot. Now a one point lead for Beckley. They're gonna get the ball left. There's only four seconds on the clock. So it also gives them a time to set up a play. Foul shot is up and good. 
Second one is up, no good off the front of the rim. So I correct myself, the one and one was shot first, followed by the technical. And he makes three out of four of those foul shots, and as a result, Beckley takes the lead back at 20 to 19. Now the inbounds play for Beckley from midcourt. Staples looks to get it in. Does so in the backcourt. It's stolen by Eric Johnson to Brown. One second. Basie fires from midcourt, and we've got a whistle and a foul at the horn. Basie put up a desperation heave from midcourt as the horn sounded, and he was absolutely crushed across the arms. And Marcellus Basie will walk to the foul line with no time showing on the clock. He'll have two foul shots coming up. That foul call against Tink Brown, and that's one he would like to have back. Oh, I'm sure he would have because both going after the basketball, the time had almost run out. Foul shot by Basie, good. Basie has eight points. And he ties the game back up to 20. Second one is up and in. So you have an interesting way to start off your first period of action. Martinsburg leads 21 to 20. This is the Metro News Radio Network. leads this Triple-A championship game after one quarter, 21 to 20. Tony Caridi along with Jay Jacobs. Well, again, Beckley shooting 39%, Martinsburg 41%, but the rebounding a key, Martinsburg 15-10, Tony. Entry pass inside to Brian Kidd along the baseline, finds Staples, goes to the bucket, shoots it up too strong, had a fairly easy shot, he put too much on it. Basie quickly down the floor to Freddie Ferguson. 15-footer on the fly, around, no good, tipped around, taken down by Tink Brown. Brown starts up the floor behind the back, has the ball tipped away by Basie. It goes to Martinsburg. Last touch by Brown. Little Marcellus Basie came over from behind and stuck his hand in there, knocked the ball off of Brown. Martinsburg will have possession. That's the third turnover against Beckley. Last night, they committed three turnovers in the entire game against Logan. Up high, Anthony Dokes takes the ball. He's out there with two fouls. Now to Smokey Grantham. Three-pointer on the way, right side. No good. Dokes for the tip, and it won't go. Rebound. Yanked down by Beckley. Chris Daniels has it. He starts up the floor. Daniels playing out there with a stress fracture. Lead pass ahead to Tick Brown. Driving down the lane. Has the ball stripped away. After the floor he goes. Rolls over and out of bounds. It goes to Martinsburg. They say no. It'll go to Beckley. Kevin English will inbound for the Bulldogs, or excuse me, for the Flying Eagles. Martinsburg fans are very upset with that call. Inbounds comes to Daniels. Now to English, deep right corner. Starts in a couple steps, pulls up on the dribble, tosses back to Daniels. Daniels now fires over far side, Brown left alone, three-pointer, no good, rebound. Knocked away, Freddie Ferguson has it. Lead pass ahead to Marcellus Basie. Bounce pass, right side. Eric Johnson's baseline jumper, no good. Grantham follows it up and in from the left side. Grantham got excellent side position. Ran the court well and got real good coming in on the left side. Tipped it up and in. 23-20, Martinsburg. 6.40 to play in this opening half as Brian Kidd works against Marcellus Basie. The top of the circle. Pass back to Staples. Three-pointer from out front. Good! Nice shot there by 6'6", six inch Glenn Staples. He's got eight points and ties the game up at 23. Basie down the other end, working at the bucket to our left. Jump pass, Beauty inside, reverse layup, Grantham, in and out, no good. Dokes rebounds, finds Johnson. Johnson puts Staples up, shoots, no good. We've got a whistle and a violation call against Martinsburg. Traveling is the call. 
Too many steps inside, Tony, off the move. He went in amongst the big guys and popped out, but one too many steps on the way in. 23 all, six minutes and 16 seconds to play in this first half as Tink Brown holds up a quarter court near side. Lob pass inside to English along the baseline, drives against Grantham, forces one up and in. Boy, he is shooting so well. Kevin English now with 10 points in this first half. Martinsburg using a lot of switching defense. They played some zone, but start the game now in their man defense, and Beckley's reading it well against that man. They go inside, Tony. Right wing, Ferguson lobs to Grantham, shot up, no good, rebound, Dokes, he puts it up, good, plus the foul. Great offensive rebounding work by Martinsburg's Anthony Dokes, who scores his sixth point, and will step up for a foul shot. He'll have a shot for a three-point play. Glenn Staples whistled on that foul. That is his first of the ball game, and that field goal by Dokes ties us back up at 25. Well, Dokes is a good jumper, has great hands, never brings the basketball down, and he can jump inside with Staples. That's a good good match going on the inside. I think one thing, Grantham is getting a lot of open shots here last two or three minutes and not been able to knock them down. Ball shot by Dokes is up. Good. So he has the three-point play and gives his team the lead back 26-25 with 5.48 to go in this First half of action. Martinsburg with that pressure, three-quarter court. Kidd finds Brown, right wing, three-pointer up. No good, in and out, rebound Grantham, lead pass Basie, Basie up the floor to the top of the circle. No look pass to Spencer Ferguson, he couldn't hold on. Here comes Beckley down the other end. Brown, top of the circle, driving to the bucket, shot on the way, off the glass, good. And here we go. Pacey down the other end to Dokes. Dokes drives, shoots, and scores. Kanky can't run the court. Tony got down beautifully that time. 28-27. Martinsburg by a point. Five minutes and 13 seconds to play in the first half of this AAA championship game. Glenn Staples could not reach up to a pass thrown too high by Brian Kidd along the far side of the floor. Turnover against the Flying Eagles. And Martinsburg will take the ball over. Excellent job that time. Martinsburg with their pressure not bringing in the front court. Basie quarterback in the club. Grantham right side tries a three. Good. What a shooting half Smokey Grantham is having. Getting real good shots. Nine points for Grantham. Martinsburg by four. 31-27. Up high. Brian Kidd to Staples. He tried to go up. He lost the ball. Basie steals. Basie. Left side of the circle, tries a three, no good. Off the back iron, rebound Spencer Ferguson. He'll set up the Martinsburg offense. Drives the baseline, pass up top to Marcellus Basie. Basie back to Spencer. His lob pass inside to Dokes. Dokes squares up, finds Grantham. 11-footer, left side, no good. Rebound Staples. Outlet, Tink Brown. Into the front court, it comes against Basie. Three-pointer, up, good. Tony, right now, Martinsburg a little bit quicker. Down the other end, Spencer Ferguson drives, shoots no good. Basie follows it up and scores it. The littlest man on the floor came down on the trail, took the miss up with one hand and hit it for his 11th point, 33-30. Martinsburg, we approach the four-minute mark. Daniels will try a three from out left. Good! Chris Daniels of Beckley scores his first three and ties the game up at 33. Basie down the other end from outside, no good, too strong. Bad shot, rebound Brown. Here comes Beckley with a chance to take the lead back. Daniels will try a three from out front. Good! Well, you better find where he is right now. He's a street shooter. You better recognize him right away. Dave Rogers takes a timeout as his team drops by three. 36-33, our score with 3.41 to play in the half. With a break in the action, let's take a moment to hear from the few, the proud, the Marines. Lethal is one way to describe him. Fearless is another, but that's his nature. You can sense the danger. You can see it in his eyes, if you can see him at all, because he's a master at the art of camouflage. He's a Marine, and he's one of a kind, part of an elite corps few can join. But if you'd like to give it a try, call 1-800-MARINES. We're looking for a few good men. Excellence. Success. West Virginia Tech. Your future may depend on the college you choose. So shouldn't you choose the college that has your future in mind? West Virginia Tech is a career-oriented college with a commitment to excellence, a commitment that will give you the competitive edge for your future. So whether you choose business, liberal arts, or high technology, choose West Virginia Tech. Excellence. Success. West Virginia Tech. 
36-33, Beckley leads Martinsburg with three minutes and 41 seconds to play in the first half of this Class AAA championship game. Dave Rogers took a timeout there. I think, Jay, just to tell his team to slow it down a little bit, they came down and took some bad shots. And conscious of where Daniels hitting two three-pointers, Tony, they might want to change their defense a little bit. Grantham up front, finds Spencer Ferguson, 18-footer up, high off the backboard, no good. Rebound, fought for, here comes Daniels. Daniels up the floor, into the front court. Drives the baseline, lob pass to Staples. He can't catch up with it. Out of bounds, Martinsburg ball. Boy, you talk about Daniels in that, in that stress factor. I think that was evident right there. He just can't kick it out in the free court game. He's a guy that's got to get in an open spot and knock it down. Great three-point range. Basie up high, works against Kidd. Bounce pass right wing. Spencer Ferguson stripped of the ball. Kidd starts up the floor. Lead pass ahead to English. English drives, shoots, and scores. Kevin English has 12. Basie down the floor, tried a lob pass all the way down to Spencer, stolen by Tink Brown. Tink Brown over midcourt. Brown to the top of the circle, right side pass for Kidd, knocked out of bounds. It will belong to Beckley. Martinsburg trying to get it back or in a real hurry. Has turned it over twice here. It's hurt them. Kevin English inbounding along the near sideline. Comes into Brown, back to English. He'll try a three. It's up, no good. Rebound taken down by Freddie Ferguson. 38-33, Beckley leads by five over Martinsburg. Basie finds Freddie Ferguson up high. Pump fake, shoots it from 15 and scores it. Set up by Basie, drew the defense towards him, dished it off beautifully, Ferguson for a jumper. Three-point game, 38-35. Tink Brown down the other end, left alone for a three. Fires are off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound followed up by Kidd, it won't go. Tipped out of bounds by Freddie Ferguson. Beckley will have it back, inbounding from underneath their basket. Good job that time by Brian Kidd. Didn't have the good offensive rebounding position, but worked Freddie Ferguson real well. Staples looks to inbound. Comes inside to Kidd. Kidd watched there by Freddie Ferguson. 2.15 and counting. Daniels left alone. Eyes the three. Doesn't pull. Inside pass to English. Back out to Kidd. He fakes. He shoots from eight feet away. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Staples. Martinsburg ball. Beckley a little more patient. That was a 2-3 zone set up by Martinsburg that time. They hit into the area where it's weak, right in the middle. They had a good shot. Didn't get it to go down. Martinsburg shoots quick, Tony, in the oh, half court. That's an understatement. <laughs> Basie finds Spencer Ferguson, right wing, inside to Grantham. Tough shot. It was partially deflected. Ball taken down by Brian Kidd. Kidd up the floor over midcourt to Staples. His three right side, no good. Rebound, Smokey Grantham poked out by Daniels. And Martinsburg will have possession of the ball. With 1.49 to play in this first half, Bulldogs will take it over, down by three. Here's Basie up high. Never know when he's going to pull the trigger. Works a pass up high to the top of the circle to Freddie Ferguson. He works right with a pass back up high to Basie. Basie now takes a look at things, comes up top to Dokes, left of the circle. Dokes holds high overhead, bounce pass right of the circle to Grantham. He starts towards the bucket at the foul line, pump fake shot up, around and in. Smokey Grantham threw that one up with one hand. He now has 11 points. Martinsburg within one of the lead as Tink Brown. Over at the hash mark, far side, spins against Spencer Ferguson, drives the baseline, poked out of bounds. It will belong to Beckley. Spencer Ferguson knocked it out over the end line. Kevin English, who has 12 first-half points, will inbound the basketball for the Flying Eagles. English takes a look at, look at things. High lob pass to Tink Brown. Three-pointer from out front. No good off the back iron. Rebound. Spencer Ferguson tips to Basie. Basie up the floor. Basie driving right. Head fake between the legs. Scoop shot. No good. We've got a whistle and an offensive foul call against Marcellus Basie, who got out of control on his way to the bucket. Whistled for his second personal with 107 to play in the half. Brian Kidd played that as beautifully as it could be played. He came in on the weak side, got his position, and read the move of Basie and took the charge. Dave Rogers will make a substitution. Eric Johnson off the bench. He'll replace Marcellus Basie. Dave Rogers will take no chances here with his star point guard with two fouls. He'll put him on the bench for the rest of this half. Martinsburg down by a point, 38-37. Here comes Beckley. Tink Brown has got 10 first half points. Crosses the timeline, guarded there by Spencer Ferguson. Brown up top to Kevin English. English takes a look at the clock. Now under one minute to play in the opening half. Works between his legs, starts down the bucket, out of control, shot is up, we've got a whistle, and we've got a travel call against Beckley's Kevin English. Bulldogs will take the ball back. That's the seventh turnover against the Flying Eagles. Boy, what a job that time by 
Freddie Ferguson. He was on his own defensively against one of the finer players attacking the basket in this tournament. Eric Johnson at the point now. He walks it over midcourt. 40 seconds and counting. Lob pass inside to Dokes. Up high with it to Grantham. Grantham now starts towards the bucket. Pass to Johnson. Baseline shot by Eric Johnson. No good. Tipped up. Won't fall for Dokes. Rebound Daniels. And Daniels is fouled with 29 seconds to play in the half. Will walk down to the far end of the floor and shoot a one and one. Well, Dokes is big on the inside, but he's got to come out of there now. Dave Rogers doesn't want to take any chances. Nice tip up with the right hand, but he came back down over the body and drew the foul. Boy, Anthony Dokes could not afford that foul there. He now has three fouls, and Dave Rogers has to yank him out of there. David McKenzie will come back in. Chris Daniels steps up to the foul line. A one and one opportunity. First shot is up, in. I tell you, Tony, I hate to say it, but Marsburg playing real small now. They should really hold on to that basketball with 29 seconds left and just go out of here, maybe down three at the most. Don't try to get down and force anything up and play one-on-one. -on -one. Daniels makes both. Beckley leads by three, 40-37, 25 seconds and counting in this first half. David McKenzie up high, fires from 16, in and out no good, rebound, tipped around. Spencer Ferguson after it, knocks it out of bounds, and Beckley will have possession with 17 seconds to play. You shake your head there, Jay. Well, I think dude, McKenzie should have shot that. I think you just hold on to it. You're playing in there with your seven and eight, six, seven and eight men. You hold on to the basketball. Inside. Yep. On the inbounds comes Staples. Staples up high with it. Under 10 seconds to play, finds English. English squares up to the bucket, drives the baseline, shot batted out of bounds by Spencer Ferguson, came from the top and blocked it. With six seconds to play, Beckley will inbound. They set up to the right of the lane. Now they screen off of it. The inbound comes to Daniels. Daniels with four seconds, fires a three from out front. Around the rim, no good. Spencer, Freddie Ferguson fires it down the floor as the buzzer sounds to end our first half of action. And the Flying Eagles of Beckley, Woodrow Wilson, head in the locker room with a three-point lead, 40-37. Beckley on top of Martinsburg in our Class AAA Championship game. This is the Metro News Radio Network. State Tournament by One Valley Bank, the one bank for all of West Virginia, and by the United States Marines, the few, the proud, the Marines. Again, let's go courtside at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum as the 1990 West Virginia State Championship continues. And this is the state championship game in Class AAA. Beckley leads Martinsburg 40 to 37. Tony Caridi back with Jay Jacobs courtside at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. Both teams shooting 38% from the field in our opening half. From the free throw line, however, Woodrow Wilson shot 72%. Martinsburg just 42%. That's something to watch and something else to keep an eye on. The foul situation, Jay. You've got Basie and Grantham for Martinsburg with two, Anthony Dokes with three, and just one Beckley player has more than one. That's Kevin English who has two fouls. Yeah, and Dokes is a big factor. I think he's done a good job in the first half, and they have to have him in there. He's their key rebounder and initiates their break. That was quite a first half. We had seven lead changes and six ties, and right now Beckley has the lead by three. Martinsburg has possession of the basketball. And we're underway with our second half. Freddie Ferguson takes it out on the right wing. Up out of the top of the circle to Dokes. To Basie. Drives in. Jump pass to Spencer Ferguson. In a crowd, he's called for a walk. Boy, wow. nice little dump pass inside. And Spencer Ferguson had nowhere to go. And he shuffled his feet. But that Brian Kidd is so smart. He had a play like that in the first half. He comes right back and gets right into the passing lane of uh, Ferguson and draws the foul. Martinsburg sets up some pressure. Picking up at midcourt. Kevin English working against Freddie Ferguson. Passes over left side of the circle to Tink Brown. Brown over to Daniels. Daniels drives along the left baseline. Looks for some help. Throws up top to Kevin English. English out between the circles. Left side to Chris Daniels. 
Daniels a couple of dribbles now over on the right side to English he starts towards the bucket backing in spinning double teamed along the baseline needs some help throws to Glenn Staples Staples fires left side to Tink Brown three pointer on the way good Beckley's lead now at six down the other end, Smokey Grantham fires from 15. Too strong. Rebound. Tink Brown. Here comes Beckley. They lead by six. Over to Brian Kidd. He drives in the paint. Inside pass for Glenn Staples underneath the bucket. He lays it up and in behind his head. I mean, he was behind the basket. He turned around and just threw it behind his head. He scores it. Here's an alley-oop for Dokes. Couldn't catch up with it. Dokes chases it down, however, in the left corner. His pass back up front, stolen by English. English driving in, down the lane, loses the ball. Basie steals, puts it behind his back once. Crosses over midcourt. Goes against Daniels, driving in, ball poked away. Brown steals for Beckley. 45-37, Flying Eagles. Here comes Brown pulling up, 13-footer, no good. Rebound, tipped around. Freddie Ferguson has it. Ferguson, up the floor he comes, between the legs, brings it out to the middle of the floor, bounce pass, left side, Dokes in the paint, lays it up and scores it. Well, a good interchange there. Not the either club starting out real strong, although starting out fast. Beckley leads by six. Six minutes to play in the third quarter. Brown double team, comes to the near side, hash mark to Daniels, cross court pass, English. Deep right corner, Kidd along the baseline, shoots and draws the foul. Took a couple steps along the baseline, went up strongly, and the foul will go against Martinsburg. Let's see who they call it on here. Basie, that's his third. And that comes with 5.57 to play in this third quarter, and Marcellus Basie very dejected as he walks back down the floor, grabs a towel from the Bulldog bench, shakes his head. Beckley's done a much better job in the second half of tilting the Martinsburg defense. They swing the ball side to side, three or four passes. After they break the Martinsburg pressure, they really have found the holes in attacking the basket and it's paid off. Brian Kidd's first foul shot no good. The second one is there. First point of the night for Kidd. And Beckley leads by seven, 46-39. Under six minutes to play in this third quarter. Dokes pops out high to take it. Fires right side to Grantham, three-pointer up. No good. Rebound hauled down by Tink Brown. Brown starts up the floor. Guarded there by Marcellus Basie. Left wing pass, Brian Kidd. He drives in, passes it outside to English. Deep right corner, Daniels tries a three. No good. Air ball, rebound, Grantham. Grantham behind the back, up the floor to Basie. Basie on the near side, pulls up. Eight-footer, good. Well, they, were, they ran it well that time, Tony. They got the ball in the guy's right hand, and Basie coming down the right side with a jumper. 46-41, Beckley leads by five with 5.18 to play in the third quarter. Here's Brian Kidd, left alone, fires from 15, good. Tony, they've solved it. Dave Rogers might have to make a little change there defensively. Basie comes down the other end, tries a three, slightly right of the circle, no good. Rebound, Beckley, Chris Daniels hauls it down. A seven-point bulldog deficit. Here comes Brian Kidd. Eyes up a three, has the ball stolen away by Spencer Ferguson. Ferguson down the floor. Ferguson driving in, left-handed layup, good. Spencer Ferguson from one end line to the other, scores his fourth point. Beckley's lead down to five, 48-43. Got to get Spencer involved more, especially out of transition to finish it off with a fast break. He does it well. Brown double team at midcourt, gets through it, has the ball knocked around, loses it, Basie steals it. Basie over midcourt, Basie to the top of the circle, has the ball picked away by Chris Daniels, knocked out of bounds. And Martinsburg will have it back. Five-point Beckley lead. Martinsburg with the basketball. Let's see if they're patient in the half court. Daniels and Basie exchange words. Daniels is talking to Basie, telling him to come on with it. Here's Basie starting to the bucket between the legs down the lane. Jump pass to Grantham underneath. Beautiful feed. He scores it. He did. 13 points for Grantham. 48-45. That Beckley lead down to three. Brown over midcourt. Pass right side. Brian Kidd. Fakes a shot, comes up top to English. He fakes a three, moves into the paint. Jumper on the way, good. English answers right back. Down the other end, here comes Basie. By Daniels to the top of the circle. Pass over on the right side to Freddie Ferguson. Ferguson spins, baseline jumper, good. Freddie Ferguson hits his first field goal of the second half, his sixth point of the ball game, and it's 50-47 Beckley. 3.45 and counting third quarter. Brown double teamed by Spencer Ferguson and Dokes. Gives off with a pass to Brian Kidd. He'll try a long three. Air ball poked out of bounds by Staples. Martinsburg will have it back with three minutes and 37 seconds to play in this third quarter. And officials timeout on the floor. 
exclusive Metro News coverage of the 1990 state tournament is being brought to you in part by West Virginia Tech. If you think a career-oriented education can make a difference in your future, you're right. Just ask any graduate of West Virginia Tech. They'll tell you that the best jobs go to the people who are prepared for them in college. And that's what Tech is all about. Tech is a career-oriented college with your future in mind. So whether you're interested in engineering, printing, computer science, or any of Tech's 63 programs, you can be sure that your future is in good hands. As a West Virginia Tech grad, you'll be in demand. And isn't that what it's all about? Here's important news for employers who want to cut down the paperwork on group insurance and still give your employees the nation's number one health care coverage. It's no fuss, no forms coverage from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Parkersburg. And it means you'll never have to handle another long, complicated claim form. Call us about no fuss, no forms group coverage from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Parkersburg. 1-800-344-5514. When time is money, it can mean big savings. We've got the type of championship game that you really want to see. A very closely contested ball game, back and forth action. And right now, Beckley leads it 50-47 over Martinsburg with 3.37 to play in the third quarter. In this third frame, Martinsburg 5 of 8 from the field. Beckley 4 of 7. Here's Basie up high. Watched by Brown Kidd. Nice entry pass to Dokes. He pump fakes, shoots, and scores. Anthony Dokes makes it a one-point game with 3.26 to go in this third frame. And that's there a lot to play inside to Dokes. He can shoot that turn around her, but they're not using Martinsburg now in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Daniels up high to Kevin English. English near side feed to Tink Brown. Back to English. Drives in. Pass underneath. Staples has his shot rejected by Spencer Ferguson. What a block. Brown takes it down. Baseline jumper. Good. And Tink Brown answers it right back. Here comes Basie down the other end, working to the bucket to our right, finds a seam, drives, shoots. His shot rejected off the backboard by Staples. Daniels comes down the floor for Beckley against Freddie Ferguson. He comes across court with a pass to English. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound, Marcellus Basie. Here comes the count to the top of the circle, driving. Pass to Dokes underneath. Loose ball on the floor, tied up. Possession arrow points to Beckley. Boy, Beckley got back great in defensive transition, Tony. Caused Basie. He was looking shot all the way till he got to the foul line, but... Beckley helped out, and he threw a parent pass down at the foot of Ferguson, which he couldn't handle. Kevin English went down hard on the floor to come up with that loose ball, and he hurt himself on the play, gets up slowly. He is favoring his right elbow, and the trainer is attending to it now underneath the Martinsburg basket. You know, it was 40-37 and a half, a three-point lead for Beckley. It hasn't changed any in the first six minutes of the third quarter. Still a three-point lead for Woodrow Wilson. Kevin English now will walk across the floor and will head to the Beckley bench. Dave Barksdale, the coach of the Flying Eagles, will have to make a substitution. He'll insert Victor Davis in the lineup, and we'll have to watch that one closely. Kevin English is a very integral part of this Beckley attack. He had 28 in the opening round game, 29 in last night's semifinal, and 14 so far tonight. Six of 10 from the field tonight for English, and so... They'll closely watch that elbow. Beckley he, has possession of the ball, leading by three. He takes good shots, Tony. That's why he has a high percentage. Doesn't force anything. Hash mark far side. Daniels holds high overhead. A couple of dribbles now. Fires up a three. No good off the back iron. Rebound. Basie. Basie up the floor. Over the timeline to the top of the circle. Right wing pass. Freddie Ferguson. His jumper. Good plus a foul. What a shot by Freddie Ferguson. Glenn Staples went for the block, came down hard on his tailbone, gets up slowly as Freddie Ferguson will have a shot for a three-point play. You know, Freddie Ferguson has that lanky ability to get open and he releases at his highest height of his jump shot. I think they need to find him a lot more than what they have been. He's had the last couple buckets. Basie can find him open. He can knock down that jumper and he has perimeter range to do it and inside off the dribble to the hoop. Ferguson at the foul line, a chance to tie the game, he does. Two minutes and 10 seconds to play in the third quarter, knotted up now at 52. Tink Brown into the Beckley front court, works the far side of the floor, guarded by Spencer Ferguson. Brown 
Tries a long three, around no good. Basie again with the rebound. Here comes the littlest man on the floor to the top of the circle, driving the lane, scoop shot up, no good. Rebound taken down by English, who's back in. English drives the floor against Grantham. Has the ball stripped away by Marcellus Basie, and they're gonna call a foul on Basie. That will be his fourth. It comes with 1.48 to play in this third quarter. Well, one thing with Marcel Spacey that last time down, he really took that ball too far into traffic. He needs to stop at that foul line and dish it off. Now, Basie with four is going to have to leave the ball game. That was a key last 10 seconds. Kevin English, who is still fooling with that uh, elbow, will step up to the foul line. He'll have two. Tony, I'm not so sure with Basie out of there right now that Martinsburg can't play better because of the fact that Basie has really created a fast tempo game, maybe too fast. If you stop and set up, once you get the ball into the front court, you can get some of the people like Dokes and Freddie Ferguson open. English makes both foul shots, giving Beckley the lead 54-52. 1.35 now remaining in this third quarter. Johnson up high to Dokes. Remember, Eric Johnson is a guy that can really come in there and do a good job at point guard. He played a lot as a sophomore in the championship game. Freddie Ferguson fires up a shot, no good. Rebound taken down by Tink Brown. Lead pass up the floor to Daniels. His shot is good, plus a foul call. Daniels, and now we've got a technical foul call against Martinsburg. Eric Johnson was incensed with that call and official George Pack slaps Martinsburg with its second technical foul tonight. Well, you just can't play the officials. You gotta play the game. Eric Johnson comes off for Basie. He's upset, but really it was a good call. He came down the floor and got into a bad position and created the foul. Spencer Ferguson tried to come over and help out. It wasn't there. Johnson fouled him. A big turnaround right here. Daniels makes the first foul shot. Beckley leads by five. Now the technical will be shot. First one up and in. You can't send this club to the foul line like the Martinsburg's been doing because they can knock it down and Daniels are going to stay right there, take two more, and they're going to get possession of the basketball. Daniels' next one is up and in. He makes all three of the foul shots. That gives Beckley a 59-52 lead. And as Jay mentioned, they'll have possession of the basketball. Beckley has just scored seven straight points. 125 to play here in the third quarter. Daniels on the inbound, 16-footer up, good! Daniels has just scored seven straight points. And Beckley with his biggest lead of the night now at nine. Spencer Ferguson up top to Anthony Dokes. Bounce pass right wing, David McKenzie. McKenzie now, jump pass left side, Grantham. He'll try a long three, bad shot, short, rebound Daniels. Daniels starts up the floor, he's out there with a stress fracture, fakes. Looks for some help. Comes up high to English. English starts towards the bucket. Draws a crowd. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes down to Martinsburg's Freddie Ferguson. Under 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. Martinsburg down 61-52. Freddie Ferguson up high to Spencer Ferguson against Tink Brown. Right wing pass. Freddie Ferguson. Lob pass inside McKenzie. Fires a pass. Back up top to Grantham. Three-pointer on the way by Smokey. Good. Boy, nice in-out play that time. Push the ball into the baseline at the block and shoved it right outside to Grantham. Six-point Beckley lead. Brian Kidd fakes the shot, comes back up top to Tink Brown. 25 seconds remain in this third quarter. Lob pass all alone underneath English. Fakes, he shoots and scores. Got behind the defense that time, Tony. 18 points for Kevin English. 63-55. Beckley, Woodrow Wilson on top in this Class AAA championship game. Under 10 seconds now. Freddie Ferguson up at the right wing. Up high to Anthony Dokes. Left side, Spencer Ferguson. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound comes down to McKenzie to Grantham. He can't get the shot off before the buzzer sounds. And Beckley Woodrow Wilson is now eight minutes away from a state championship. They lead Martinsburg by eight. 63-55 after three. This is the Metro News Radio Network.
Beckley leads by eight points with eight minutes to play in this class AAA championship game. The Bulldogs with possession of the basketball. Marcellus Basie out with three fouls. Smokey Grantham up high. Bounce pass left side. Dokes tries a 16-footer too strong. Rebound tipped around. Comes down to Tink Brown. Tink Brown starts up the floor. Lead pass ahead to Brian Kidd over midcourt. Kidd drives. Pass left side. Daniels fires. Good. Tony. That's his... You wonder if Martinsburg can come back down 10 like this. I think they can, but they've got to have Basie in the lineup. They cannot sit him out any longer. And here he comes. He'll be in on the next dead ball. Grantham up top, left alone, three-pointer. Good for Smokey Grantham. Yeah, he can. Basie can get you out going. Now they need that fast-paced game. They're down. They need some creativity. Tink Brown up high, working right. Fires a high archer up, no good. Rebound comes down to Smokey Grantham. Grantham gives over to Spencer Ferguson. The Bulldogs with the ball, down by seven. Here is Spencer Ferguson, a three-pointer. Off the rim, no good. Rebound taken down by Staples. Outlet Tink Brown. Brown down the far side of the floor. To the corner, to the baseline. Shoots it off the glass and scores it. 17 points for Tink Brown. 67-58. Beckley by nine. 6.45 and counting. Ferguson up high. One bounce to Dokes. Dokes holds high overhead. Left side feed to Freddie Ferguson. Baseline jumper by Freddie. Won't go. Rebound. Fought for. Foul call against Staples. Beckley. Yep. Staples. That's his third personal. And on that dead ball situation, Marcellus Basie will come back into the game with four fouls. And to the bench, David McKenzie. Right here is a very crucial point because I can tell you what Marcel Spacey is thinking right now. He's thinking, I'm going to shoot us back in. You're going to see him shoot the basketball most of the time coming down the final six minutes. I'm Grantham's sure. three-pointer off the inbound, no good. Daniels with the rebound. We've seen him in this situation before, and Basie's either going to yep. win it for him or lose it for him. Tink Brown's three from out front, no good. Basie in the middle of the lane takes the rebound down. Starts up the floor over the timeline. To the right side of the circle. Here he goes. Fires a three. In and out. No good. Tough luck shot there. Brown rebounds for Beckley. <laughs> Brown walks it up the floor. Dave Rogers on one knee. Looking concerned. Dave Barksdale barks to his team defense. Ferguson steals out at midcourt. Drives in all alone. Lays it up and good. Spencer Ferguson just stripped Tink Brown clean. It's a seven-point game with 5.52 to play. Big basket. Here's Kevin English, out high, down the lane, pass over right side, Brian Kidd, baseline jumper, no good, rebound strongly, Dokes, outlet Ferguson to Basie, Basie down the floor, driving bounce pass, Freddie Ferguson lays it up, no good, Grantham follows it up, that won't go, Basie chases after the rebound, Basie on the far side of the floor, fires it up, no good, and he is fouled on the play by Kevin English. Boy, they had a couple good chances there, they got Basie at the foul line, but... They really had a couple of real good opportunities there to push that lead right into about five. It's seven with Basie at the line. Timeout taken by Beckley Woodrow Wilson. They lead by seven, 67 to 60. Marcellus Basie will be shooting two when we return. A great time now to hear from the University of Charleston. Choose your destination. The University of Charleston has the distinction of being the first private university in West Virginia. Also, we can offer you a low student-teacher ratio, successful NAIA Division II athletics, and more than 40 academic majors. Look for UC's display at the high school basketball tournament and make plans to visit campus while you're in town. Call admissions at 357-4750 for more information. The University of Charleston. You can get there from here. Lethal is one way to describe him. Fearless is another. But that's his nature. You can sense the danger. You can see it in his eyes, if you can see him at all, because he's a master at the art of camouflage. He's a Marine, and he's one of a kind, part of an elite corps few can join. But if you'd like to give it a try, call 1-800-MARINES. We're looking for a few good men. Marcellus Basie is two for two at the foul line tonight. He's got two shots coming up. The Bulldogs are down by seven, 67 to 60. Beckley on top with five, 28 to play in his class AAA championship game. Basie's foul shot is up and in. And Basie five for 16 from the, out in the field. Of course, he got 10 rebounders. He has that straight. He has good jumping ability. Second foul shot by Basie is there straight through the net. And we've got ourselves a five-point ball game with 5.28 left. Here comes Tink Brown, picked up by Spencer Ferguson, a three-quarter court. Passes over to Kevin English, far side of the floor. 
English goes up against Freddie Ferguson. Lob underneath to Staples. His shot off the glass. No good. Rebound taken down by Spencer Ferguson. Here comes Martinsburg. Ferguson to the top of the circle. Driving in. Pass off Basie. Shot off the glass. Is good. Here they come within three. 67-64. Brown in the backcourt. Bothered by Spencer Ferguson. Races up the floor. Into the deep right corner. Hemmed in tightly. Pass up top to Brian Kidd. Kidd works a pass left side to Daniels. Daniels fires up a long one. No good. Bad shot. Rebound. Spencer Ferguson up over midcourt. Spencer Ferguson now slows things down. Martinsburg to within three of the lead. 440 and counting. Basie between the legs. Up top to Spencer Ferguson. He'll try a three. No good. Rebound. Brian Kidd. Here comes the Flying Eagles. Kidd over the timeline to the left of the circle. Up high between the rings to Daniels. Now back to Kidd. Inside feed to Brown. Brown along the baseline. Shoots no good, but he's fouled on the play by Spencer Ferguson. When Marcel Spacey came back in the ballgame with four fouls, what Dave Rogers did is put him on Brian Kidd, who handles the ball the least of anybody on the Beckley club, and I think it's been effective. It's kept him loose on the defensive end to rest a little bit, and yet him, let him take over on the offensive end. A smart move by Coach Dave Rogers. Tink Brown, three of four at the foul line tonight. First of two shots is up and in. Brown now with 18 points in the ball game, and Beckley leads by four. Four, 24 to go in the fourth quarter. This is point guard time, Tony. This is where Basie and Brown, the two best, will control the basketball game. Second one by Tink Brown is good. Flying Eagle lead back up to five, 69-64. Right wing pass over to Spencer Ferguson. Watched by Tink Brown, bounces up high to Dokes. He's left alone. Dokes holds high overhead, bounces back over on the right wing to Freddie Ferguson. Pass underneath to Spencer, lays it up and in. Brother to brother, Spencer Ferguson scores his eighth point. And Martinsburg down by three as the Flying Eagles come with Tink Brown. He works with the bucket to our left. All the way down the floor, shot rejected, gets it back to Daniels. Daniels fires up top to Kevin English. English has the ball nearly stolen. Into the right corner to Brian Kidd. Kidd drives the baseline. Clogged up. Pass back up top to Daniels. Left alone. Fires over on the right wing to English. English now back up high. Pass inside to Kidd. He squares up. Shot is up. Around no good. Staples lays it up and in. Beautiful offensive putback for Glenn Staples. 71-66 Beckley. Basie wastes no time on the attack. Up high, gets it to Grantham. Grantham fires up a 16-footer, no good. And Doak slams it back down. 71-68, Beckley by three. This is the championship game that you want. Lion Eagles on top. Three minutes and 12 seconds and counting. Kevin English out high against Freddie Ferguson. Spinning, has the ball poked away, gets it back. Now gives up top to Chris Daniels. Daniels from straight away, eyes that three, works right on the dribble. Into the corner to Glenn Staples. Up top now to Tink Brown, out between the circles, it's Tink Brown. And Beckley now will spread their offense. Brown against Spencer Ferguson, starts to the bucket. Slicing, shooting, and drawing the foul with 2.46 left. Boy, very difficult right here because Coach Barksdale is going to spread it and he's going to give the ball to Brown every time and he has a lot of room. He's very, very difficult to handle. His angle towards the basket. Spencer Ferguson's got his hands full. Brown has size on him. Timeout, Dave Rogers of Martinsburg. Well, Dave Rogers seeing that Beckley is going to spread their offense out in the final moment is going to take a timeout to talk things over with his club. Fred Persinger working our roving microphone this evening. Fred? Thank you, Tony Caridi. With me at courtside, Jimmy Miller, a former star at Princeton High School, University of Virginia. Jimmy, you've been in these AAA championships before. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, this is exciting. I can reflect back in uh, 1979 and when I was a sophomore and again in 1981 when I was a senior. And, I mean, this is what it's all about at the high school level. Guys coming here to, to compete at the uh, state championship. Your thoughts on the two teams out here tonight? Well, I think Beckley's done a... a a better job up to this point obviously they're up three points but uh, uh, anything can happen with Martinsburg you know I, th the way they can trap and, and, and create things defensively uh, they, they may still have contention in the game but I think Tink Brown will control it for Beckley and I think you'll see Beckley winning you go down to Princeton High School and you look in the trophy case you'll see a couple of jerseys hanging down there one of them belongs to Jimmy Miller and another belongs to a very famous star down there as well Rob Thorne Exactly right. Uh, Rod is, uh, as you know, he's now with, uh, vice president of the NBA. So, uh, there's, yeah, there's two there. One, one of them is mine. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy Miller. Back Thank to you, you, Tony. 
And uh, Jimmy offering his prediction on tonight's outcome, 71-68. Beckley on top, and uh, Tink Brown will step up. He'll have two shots. Tony, I think one thing here, Dave Rogers had to get a timeout. You're going to look for him to change defenses. He's not going to stay in that man and let Brown control that out front. He'll probably trap more out of some type of zone, but you're going to, this is where somebody like uh, Brian Kidd will get open in these seams. We'll see if he can knock down the three-pointer. Very, very intelligent chess game going on between both coaches. Brown makes both foul shots. Tink Brown has 21. Beckley leads by five, 240 and counting. Basie along the baseline forces one up. It's good. Well, he took it to the baseline. He took it more in his range, two-point range, and rather three. Good play. Three-point game, 73-70. Two and a half to play. Tink Brown over midcourt, down the lane, finds Daniels, left alone, 17-footer up. Good. Chris Daniels with his 21st point, steals the ball from Basie, lays it up. It won't go. Rebound Spencer Ferguson. Martinsburg down five. Spencer Ferguson, flip pass, Freddie Ferguson, corner jumper, no good. Rebound, Daniels goes down on the floor, loses it, gets it to Tink Brown. Brown down to English, he lays it up, slam dunk. Beckley leads by seven. Under two minutes to play, Martinsburg is going to take a timeout. A slam dunk by Kevin English off the assist from Tink Brown, which was set up by Chris Daniels who took the rebound in the lane, fell down, and had the presence of mind to punch the ball ahead to Brown. Tink Brown spotted English down the floor, launched it to him, and he slammed it to give Beckley a 77-70 lead, 1.56 to go. Tony, I think one of the situations there, the pass coming down the floor got Freddie Ferguson open for the jump shot, but what Basie did was not rotate at all. Once the ball was shot by Ferguson, everybody attacked the boards, and that freed the outlet pass with nobody back covering on defense, and he got the easy slam. The other situation was the great plays by Daniels, the shot and then the steal. Fred Persinger over on the far side of the court. Fred? Tony Caridi just behind the bench listening in on the Martinsburg huddle. Dave Rogers very explicit in his instructions. He said, gentlemen, look at the clock. We trail by seven. We want to drive toward the basket, try and draw the foul. If we can't do that, then we're going to have to pick somebody out and start fouling. The game is getting too close to the end, and we're behind by too much. Back to you. The Beckley fans are on their feet here at the Civic Center. The crowd of 8,831 watching this game. Martinsburg will have possession. Down by seven. Smokey Grantham will inbound in the backcourt to Marcellus Basie. Remember, he's out there with four fouls. Basie up top. Between the legs, he'll try a three from out front. No good. Rebound Spencer Ferguson. Takes it out of the paint. Brings it back up top. Right side pass Freddie Ferguson. His corner jumper in and out. No good. Rebound Staples of Beckley. He gives over to Tink Brown. Beckley leads 77-70. 138 in county. Ball loose, and we've got a whistle and a foul call against Spencer Ferguson. It looked as though Ferguson had the ball cleanly, and they call a foul. That would have set Marcellus Basie down the floor all alone for an easy bucket. Boy, it did frustrate him. It looked like the play was made. Basie was out. He's all the way down the other end, jumped up in frustration. 136 to play. Tink Brown now with a chance to give his team a nine-point lead. They lead it 77-70. Shot is up. Around. No good. Rebound, Freddie Ferguson. Ferguson over midcourt. Ferguson pulls up, 16-footer, again off the mark. Rebound, Dokes underneath, he is fouled with 128 left. And what that does is stop the clock for Martinsburg High School. The final 128, they're going to have to pick their people and choose to foul. Beckley will win this basketball game at the foul line or lose it at the foul line. Take a look at these Martinsburg kids, and you don't uh, see them affected by the seven-point deficit. They, they just seem to be confident at this point, even though there's only 128 left. Inbound comes up high to Spencer Ferguson. Works it right over to Smokey Grantham. He'll try a three. It's up. No good. And the Bulldogs have gone cold. Beckley leads by seven. 115 and counting. The pass up ahead to Chris Daniels. Daniels is fouled with 112 left by Freddie Ferguson. A tremendous second half here by Beckley's Chris Daniels. He's got 11 points, 21 in the ball game, but really it was a streak where he scored nine straight points that put Beckley on top at this point. 
They have not looked back since. Martinsburg in the fourth quarter, six of 20 from the field. Daniels' foul shot is up and good. He'll have the bonus on the one and one. Well, Chris Daniels is a guy that playing with some pain, but he's a smart player, Tony. He really finds the open areas of the defense, and his players and his teammates have done a good job of getting the ball. Second one, no good. Rebound, Dokes. Bulldogs down by eight. Basie up the floor, fires a three right side, good. 78-73, a five-point game. Exactly one minute to play. Smokey Grantham up top. Fouls Kevin English with 58 seconds left. That's Grantham's third personal, and now Kevin English will step up to the line. He's four of four from the free throw line tonight. Beckley leads it by five, 78-73. And Martinsburg's going to need some misses and then to come down and throw up some threes to make it go. English, a six foot four inch senior forward with 20 points tonight. At the foul line to our left. It's in the air, it's up, it's no good. Rebound Martinsburg. Basie over midcourt. Basie fires up a three, no good. Rebound Daniels. 45 seconds to play in the game. They're after Tink Brown, and they foul him with 44 seconds left. Can't let the time run off the clock now, down five. You take the foul no matter who it's on. You don't look for anybody in particular. You just go get the man with the ball, the offense. Well, Basie had a chance there to make it a two-point game, but his three-pointer was strong off the back iron. Well, his shots usually, you look at his three-point, he's a very strong kid. He doesn't shoot it from the college three-point. He shoots it from the NBA three-point. Shoots it way out, and I think he does that because he doesn't want to go right into the defense, Tony, and he takes a deeper shot. Tink Brown makes the front end of the one-and-one. Beckley leads, 79-73, 44 seconds left. Second one by Brown is up and in. Here comes Basie, Bulldogs down by seven. Basie slicing to the bucket and loses the ball out of bounds over the end line. Beckley basketball with 39 seconds to play. The fans are on their feet, the Beckley bench is on its feet. Inbounds comes to Daniels. Ahead to Tink Brown. Brown over midcourt. Brown against Grantham. Bowls him over. They're going to call a blocking foul against Smokey Grantham. And that will send Tink Brown right back to the foul line. And now we've got some debris thrown onto the court. Blocking fouls. Whistle on 22. Grantham. That foul call against Beckley. I should say against Martinsburg. Smokey Grantham. That's his fifth. He's out of the ball game. Eighty seventy three is our score. Tink Brown, 23 points on the night, has a chance to ice this one here. Eric Johnson will come in in place of Smokey Grantham. Dave Rogers tells Johnson on a made bucket down the other end, I want a timeout immediately. Brown's foul shot up good. Eighty-one, seventy-three. Beckley Woodrow Wilson within 33 seconds of their first state championship since 1967. Brown's second one, no good. Dokes rebounds to Spencer Ferguson. Spencer Ferguson fires up a three, no good. Rebound knocked out by Chris Daniels of Beckley. Martinsburg will have it back with 26 seconds left. Down by eight. The three-point shot, Tony. Unable to get him back in this basketball game. Inbounds Basie, corner jump shot for three, no good. Rebound tipped in by Freddie Ferguson, and with 21 seconds to play, Martinsburg calls timeout down by six, 81-75. Martinsburg has had their chances to get back into this game. However, the three-pointers just were not falling. We know high school kids, and sometimes you get involved, and you look up at that clock, and you think 58 seconds is 10 seconds, and you think you gotta really release that, release that three as quickly as possible, and sometimes coaches are unable to really even control it, Tony, where you look at the clock, and they're only down six right now with 21 seconds left, 
They were behind maybe seven with 58 seconds on the clock. They could have gone yeah. inside yeah. and even come back and foul. And they'd been right back in the ball game because Dokes has been standing in there wide open and so has Grantham. Yeah. But they elected to arc from the three point. I think that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. The fact that they went for the three too quickly. Fred Persinger is over on the far side of the court. Fred? Tony Caridi, Dave Barksdale's instructions are very simple. Get open, go long, make sure you make yourself available for the pass coming in. No fouls. Grab the basketball on the missed shots. And then the last thing he said to them, you're 21 seconds away from something you've worked hard all year long for. Go get it. Martinsburg will have possession of the basketball. No doubt they're going to try to set a screen open to get a three. That could bring them to within three. Beckley will have possession of the basketball. Let me correct myself. Beckley's English inbounds to Daniels. Daniels fires up ahead to Kidd. Back to English. 16 seconds and counting. English fires to Kidd. And Kidd, with 12 seconds, is fouled. A one and one coming up here for Brian Kidd. Very good job, Beckley, out of that timeout of spreading the court. They ran nine seconds off of that clock with only 12 left by handling the basketball and keeping the ball moving at all times. We've got a wall of humanity to our left. The entire Beckley student section has lined itself up along the far side end line, and they are ready to storm this floor. Brian Kidd at the foul line. Shot is up. In and around, no good. Rebound, Freddie Ferguson to Basie. Basie tries up a 35-footer, no good, out of bounds, five seconds to play, and Beckley now five seconds away from a Class AAA state championship. Boy, these Pam fans are going to come out. Good 81. Bear, Bear, Bay, say goodbye to Fred Persinger. We might not see him again. 81-75. Kevin English inbounds in the Beckley backcourt, gets it in to Brian Kidd. He's fouled by Johnson with four seconds to play. And now it's just a matter of the final buzzer. Beckley leads by six with four ticks of the clock remaining. Dave Barksdale standing along the far side as club came into this state tournament. Knocked off Morgantown. That was expected, but no one expected them to pound Logan like they did last night, 92-64. And now they lead number two rated Martinsburg, 81-75. Kids foul shot up, no good. Rebound, Freddie Ferguson, three seconds, two seconds, one second. It's all over. The Flying Eagles of Beckley Woodrow Wilson have won the 1990 Class AAA State Championship by a final score of 81-75. to The Beckley student section has stormed the floor in celebration. Chris Daniels. The talented guard has been put up on someone's shoulders. He's holding his finger high in the air with number one waving as Beckley has won its first state championship since 1967. Our final score once again, 81-75. We'll be back to hear from Beckley coach Dave Barksdale in just a moment. We'll be back after this word from Rex. Nobody stacks up to Rex. Hi, I'm Kelly from Rats, the place with a wide, wide variety of roast beef sandwiches, telling you about three melts for your mouth, especially the new Mex Melt, the sandwich that made Mexico famous. It's a mucho grande satisfying sandwich with tender roast beef, tangy salsa, cheddar cheese, sauce, lettuce, and tomato. There's also our Philly Melt with sauteed vegetables and the Mushroom Melt with mushrooms and Swiss. Now listen to our mariachi jingle, then try something delicioso. Nobody 